Hello there fellow gamers, I'm Kevin J, and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last part, we completed chapter 14 on the sea road. It was the quintessential ship stage that every single, or most, portable Fire Emblem games have. Um, really quick, I'm just gonna go shopping over here. I'm gonna sell a Boolean S. Does anyone have a Boolean M? I thought we would have found a Boolean M on that last chapter. Oh, there's a Boolean S there, and a Boolean M there. There we go, and there's a talisman here, I believe. What do I want to buy real quick? I do want to buy a Master Seal. I also want to buy a Rescue Staff, because I've noticed there's been a few moments where I wish I had one. Um, I'll buy two Master Seals, that's okay. And then we'll back out of there. Quickly go to the inventory. Let's fix up everyone's stuff. You don't need to recover. Who was I going to give that resistance to? I believe I was giving it to Vake. Vake with his hilariously low resistance. Yeah, he's gonna have that talisman. Um, and that's all I really wanted to do. That's all I really wanted to do. You can take a steel sword. She needs one. Anyway, so in this episode, we are going to be taking on chapter 15 at Valm Harbor. I initially wanted to do another paralogue in between chapters 14 and 15. But uh, this one is, trust me when I say that, that one is one of the harder ones. And I don't want to bother uh, trying to do it just now. So, depending on who's getting supported. Okay, yeah, it's just Cher, Shay, and Long Q. Um, yeah, we're going to do chapter 15 this episode. And then I think next chapter we can finally get to this one. If not, then we'll do it in two episodes. But I'll try to unlock one more paralogue that we can do after this chapter. But anyway, uh... We're going to quickly do this one support conversation. That's it, right? Yeah, just this one. Click the link on the on the screen or the link in the description. Blah, blah, blah. We've gone through this before. It's just going to be Cher Shan Long Q. And I'll see you guys in just a moment. So sad. But I love Long Q's voice. You just got to get deep and be gone. Anyway. <clears throat> With that all done, I guess we just take on chapter 15. Let's go. At last, Valm Harbor. Hmm. It appears well fortified. Prepare the troops. We'll... Huh? What's that? Right. An altercation. That woman, the Valmese dogs, are running her down. <clears throat> Any enemy of theirs is a friend of ours. Come on! That's all there really was to it. I didn't even need to put a skip button on that. This is chapter 13. It is a big old map. It's one of the weirder shaped maps, I must say. Uh, it, it's, it's like, cause this is beach. Beach is just like desert. Uh, people don't move on it very well. One, two, three. Like, that's all she can move. It cuts your movement by about half. But yet they put a whole bunch of, like, guys on it. So you don't even have to worry about these guys. They'll eventually end up behind you, but not immediately. Uh, it's a, it's a tough stage. I'm not gonna lie. You've got some classed up units. You got a general and a dark knight there. And the boss is a dark knight. But we've faced harder than level eights. So it shouldn't be too bad. I'll also point out there's a bunch of houses here. Houses are just like villages. Um, in a stage like this, you can do that. But there's also someone over here named Seiri who's holding a concoction. Interesting. We gotta get to her and try and save her. Anyway, so quickly selecting units. We don't need to bring Anna this time. We can start bringing Olivia again, luckily. I really wish we could bring Lucina, but I, I want to bring Olivia so we can train her. Uh, she's also got to learn, or she's also got to start... Uh, getting along with somebody, but most of my team is girls. Um, that's okay. I think we should be alright. Um, quickly get rid of Maribel's spear there that she doesn't need. Lissa's going to drop the physic. No, no, no. She's going to keep the physic and then also take the rescue. I think that's a good call. Um, does Vake... Vake is still holding Hector's axe, so what he's going... What we're going to do... You are going to take the hammer and stuff, and we'll deal with that right at the beginning of the stage. Um, I do want to bring Kiel to this stage. I think she's going to do really good. Um, with all that being taken care of, I want my I want myself to get to level. No, oh, I got I already got to level ten, which means I already unlocked uh, Gamble. I might as well stay a barbarian for as long as possible, though. Just to get used to stuff. Actually, one more thing. I forgot that I'm able to use steel axes now, so I'm going to give myself a steel axe. 
Um, and that should do. That should do. That should do for now. And with all that taken care of, let's quickly move people around the map. Olivia is going to be on the back line. We got to put a lot of the flyers in the back line. Kiel is going to be on the front line. We got to be really careful with Kiel though, because there are uh, a decent amount of mages on this map. So you've got to be careful about uh, who you're setting up to tank. Um, put all the flyers on the back line, as I said. Um, you should go close to the front just because you got to move fast. Vake's gonna pair up with you though, so that's fine. And I can't move very far, so I'll put you there. Put all the magic people on the back. Someone's gotta take out this person though. Let's see, can I put Vake close enough that Vake can... Actually, if I put myself... Uh, decisions, decisions. How far can you move if you go right there? Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, uh, we'll figure out how... We'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, with all that being done, quickly save over this file. And let's go! Oh. Who is that? The Elysian League. So they have finally landed. Over here! Over here! We have her cornered. Confound these wretched Imperials. Don't let her get away! I love that voice. It's such a typical, like, voice, but it's a fun voice to do. Alright, route the enemy. Typical stuff. Right. Our first priority is to hurry and save that woman. And it's going to point out that we can visit all these houses. Oh my god. Take your time. Take your time, game. Just keep... keep. There you go. Gods. If possible, we should also visit the homes where we... Homes here to see how people fare. Okay. Okay, so do I want to send Krom in first? I'm going to send me to take out this guy. Use the hammer because it is a big old... Oh, the Ignis. I'm tipping the scales. Oh, you missed. He had a hammer too, actually. Gotta be careful. It's a level up for me. I gotta. I want to get to level 20 before I class up. It's a good thing I bought some master seals, although I don't believe anyone is actually using them. Uh, it's a good thing we got them. Yeah, man, we got the despoil. Get rid of the hammer, though. We don't need to. Um, who's gonna get classed up next? Um, if any, well, it's probably gonna be Morgan. But one thing we're gonna need for Olivia, because Olivia's probably not going to stay dancer forever uh, we might second seal her and that that's gonna be pretty big uh, how well do you do not too bad okay send oh actually you can go in first go in with the steel axe and take out this guy <clears throat> Up. Ugh. it's not too bad it's not too bad you gotta be very careful with how you handle this stage. Anyway, you're gonna go right there, and you're gonna use the hammering on him. Hammering gives a lot of experience too. And the hammer may have broken, but Hector's axe now has 15 uses again. That's all, we're really, all we really wanted was the ability to uh, use that Hector's axe some more. Because it's a really good weapon actually. Although it only has 15 uses, it is really good. So I wanted to just use the hammer and staff on that. There are other ways to get hammer and staffs, by the way. Um, hmm, hmm, I can dance somebody to move again, but the question is who? You have a hammer. Keep an eye on where they can move. Uh, these guys are shooting over the wall, but these guys aren't. So we got to aim to block off. Oh, of course. You two pair up. You run up here, and then you switch, and then you dance. And I didn't mean to dance that person, but I did. I screwed up. Uh, okay. You two can pair up. Because we gotta we gotta make some good movements like this. Um You should be okay actually. Separate and put Maribel right there so that Maribel starts helping Krom. And then our flyers can just get into a good position to jump the wall. Uh, if you... Well, actually, you don't have anything that'll help this, so just go for that. Hurting the guy. And then Morgan is going to fly right over here and rally movement, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um, 
you just, I guess. We'll see what happens from here. They are gonna try to beat up Savory while she's in the corner there. Be careful, but she should be okay. Oh, the block. Oh, the block. Ow. It. it. Sully's doing pretty good, considering she's not even standing next to Vake. Ah, well, that's all they were gonna do though. You gotta be careful because this map gets really junked up. It's actually not a bad stage in this middle part. It's just the friggin' Okay, so we're, we're really, like, already. Um, you two are gonna pair up. You're going to mend that. And that's gonna get up to level five, which unlocks Rally Resistance, which I knew I was gonna get, but whatever. And you can drop back to there, actually, just so that you can stand next to your wife. You're gonna steal Lance. There we go. That helps, though. That helps. You can shoot that over the wall. Do your worst. Maribel's. Maribel's such a B. Anyway, uh, who can we move again? Put my, I can actually put myself up front, and that might even be better. With Orson's hatchet, that's about to break, but that's okay. Uh... If you can beat him from this side, which you can't. See, what I would jump this and then like start beating them up on that side, but you have to deal with all these people running down your doorstep. And it's just not going to work in the way that I would like it to. Because she can go in like this and hammer. Actually, can we... Okay, I got a, I got a sneaky idea. Switch. Transfer. You're going to jump so you can take out this guy. You shouldn't get hit back. Ow. That's going to give her the level up. She has horribly low resistance of only 5. But she has a defense of 23, and this is the only magic guy who's going to go after her. She has a damage of 10 on the Arc Thunder, plus 15 magic, which is 25, minus 5 is 20. So he takes 20 damage there. <clears throat> but only uh, 0 from him, and maybe a little bit of damage from him. Yeah, five damage from him. So she's only going to take 25 damage. Now, can anyone else reach her is the big question. This guy can. So because that guy can, we got to worry about that. Um, this is what you're going to do. You're going to come over here, and you're going to switch, and then you're going to dance. That way she can now grab the concoction off Olivia and then drink it. And now she'll be okay, I believe. Um, you're gonna come over here and just rally them, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I just press rally because, like, I see something that isn't standstill. <laughs> um, and that's okay. Yeah, they're gonna go for Sayri there. But Sayri's, uh, got good dodge, actually. And now we got, uh, the couples really paired together, so that's gonna do really well. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Jeez. Maribel. Oh. Oh. I'm so strong. Yeah, see, I knew they were going to go for that, and they missed, actually. But I knew that, that was a smart idea on their part to go for that. Ow. What? Uh. Oh, you, did you see that? I got a critical ignis, which is possible, and it's really sick. I'm not sure how it calculates if it triples and then adds ignis, but I'm pretty sure it adds ignis on top of it and then triples that damage. So... It's pretty insane. And then you two teamed up. Wow, we, we are destroying the stage. I was half worried that we weren't going to do too well on this stage. But now we're just destroying it. Uh, yeah. Sully's really good as a paladin. Sully's doing really well. Steel Lance broke. That's okay. She's got other weapons. And since Vague keeps helping... Oh, there's the Dark Knight, but she dodged it, so... <laughs> Jeez! This is the power of love, ladies and gentlemen. This is the power of love. 
At level 5, she gets the power called Defender. Defender is a decent skill. It increases the odds of dual supports, I believe, or like the defense part of it. No, actually, it grants plus 1 to all stats while paired with another unit. So, as if she wasn't good enough before, <laughs> she's really good now. Um, I would love for Morgan to get some experience so she can go in on this guy. That's my girl! Uh. She'll take a little bit of damage, but... Morgan's doing really good. I'm not gonna lie, Morgan's doing really, really freaking good. Uh, you can come in just because I want Lissa to get more experience. Yay, Lissa, you did it. You get a steel sword, she definitely doesn't need that. And that's pretty much everything we need to get done on the station. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, there's not much else we need to do. Um, we gotta watch what's coming up behind us, actually. Um, the mage people are taking the longest. Um, you two pair up, and we'll get long Q to use the steel sword on this guy. Up. Oh. Be silent. Blah. So strong. It's really good. It's really good. Love long Q. Love him. Love him. Uh, you can just come charging all the way up here and beat him with the steel sword, I guess. Yeah, I, I honestly, I had figured that Vake was going to help there. Um, and he did, so that's good. Um, you, I really wish you could take him out, but let's see if Tharia can do it. Yeah, Tharia can do it. Tharia is really good. Tharia is doing really well for us. Oh. Oh, jeez. She's destroying everything, too. And we're not even, like, over-leveled. We're a little bit above average, but I wouldn't say we're over-leveled by any means. Rally resistance, I guess. That's really good for our team, actually, considering um, our weaknesses as a team. Um, you're going to come over here and rally magic, I guess. And they're going to go. They're just going to try to take out Seiri. They missed. She doesn't have a weapon, so... She's, she's going to... Like, she can't fight back. Um... Uh, Elwyn does slightly more damage, although it, it doesn't matter. It's not bad. Not bad at all. And you're going to come in, and you are going to steal Lance, that guy. Oh, we got to get Krom over there to talk to Sayri, actually. Success. Success. Good job, Morgan. That's my girl. Anyway, uh, she's level 16. She's not going to be ready to class up yet, but probably before next episode, I'll level her up to 20, just so she's ready. Um, how well do you do against them? Wow, they don't hurt you. <laughs> Kiel's doing really good. Uh, you can stand there, and you can go there. You two can run over to this. Is it a defeat commander stage, by the way? I gotta check. Do you have dreams? Well, I would love to see Minerva's child one day. Wouldn't that be magical? I wanted something like that. No, that's a route, actually. Um, in which case, we're going to start visiting some of these houses. Psst, talk quietly now. Talk quietly now. The Conqueror has ears everywhere. Between us, I support the Resistance and all, but I'm not about to stand against him. If his men even knew I talked to you, they'd slice me open and wear me like a jacket. Uh, but good luck to you, though. Oh, fine. Here, take this. Just don't tell anyone I helped you. Second seal. Just talking about how we would probably give that to Olivia at some point. Uh, we'll visit here. Well, oh, well, you don't look imperial, do you? Care for a wee bit of gossip? I hear tell of resistant movements all across the continent. Each one striving to end Wallart's rule. Wallart's cruel tyranny. But they're divided, scattered. They say a beautiful sword mistress is trying to unite them, core blimey. Now, I've never seen... E now, I've never even seen me this lady, but I wish to help her all the same. Should you find her, ask that she read this. It'll make her even keener with a blade. It's a secret book. Or an arm scroll. That's good. That's a good item. It's a very good item. You two are going to separate. Just because... And I'm going to run myself back here. And that'll do. Ah. Uh, and then we'll just end the turn. They're really trying to beat up Seiri, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, the block. Okay, so 
she'll drink her thing. What we really gotta worry about is a lot of things. <laughs> uh, you can just, just destroy. Time to tip the scale. I just tip those scales. I be tipping scales like I'm tipping the waiter at a restaurant. What? It's a bad, what? Where did I even get that from? Anyway, we're getting a lot of booleans. That's nice. Grom has such good defense. Well thought. Well thought. I wish I had it. I wish I had his voice. Um, you cannot stand there. It's just not going to work. We'll have Tharia stand right there. Uh, you are going to help. You're just, we're just going to take out this guy. And then you are going to finish it off. We'll move Krom over after, I guess. We do have a rescue, and that'll just save us time. Um, you are going to visit this. Excuse me. There's no standing against the Emperor. All who question him are slain on the spot. I am a refugee here. The dastard raised my entire village just for sport. If you truly mean to fight him, I'd have you take this. You can use it to heal the wounds of comrades from... It's a physics staff. It's like a quiz for me. Anyway, you're gonna dance her. That gives her plus two magic, which actually means that she can do her rescue from one square farther. Uh, but use the physic for now, just to heal me up. Oh, ranged healing! We've got that ranged healing! Got that ranged healing! What? It's not even like... It doesn't even sound like the song. Oh! Oh! Just one shot with the Aether got all his health back. <laughs> that was insane. Anyway, uh, with that all taken care of, I can take care of most of the remaining enemies. I use the Steel Axe on this guy. Here's how it's done. Here's how it's done. 105 damage for a crit on just the Steel Axe. And then Tharia's gonna do the thunder on this guy, I guess. And if I help, it'll be great, but I doubt I will. Oh, I did! Oh, it still doesn't finish it off, though. Uh, that's okay. Now, how far away can I stand and still get this visit? Or a rescue. I'm at, actually at the max distance already. Grab Krom. That's gonna give her the level up. HP, magic skill, luck, resistance. Hooray! And you're gonna talk to this per lady. My gratitude. Prince Krom of the Elysian League, you have my gratitude. You know of our cause? <laughs> of course! I would speak with you more, but first, perhaps... <laughs> ah, yes, the time enough... Time enough for that once the fighting is finished. Oh, well, looks like she's joined us. This is a new swordmaster named Seiri. We've never really taken the time to look at a swordmaster. Oh, she doesn't have a sword, so she didn't get to do her thing. But that just shows you what the swordmaster uh, class looks like. High skill, high speed, they wield swords. They're just really good classes. Not very really much to talk about. I find... Uh, Seiri's one of the first units we get outside of Frederick that's, uh, already classed up when you get her. Because of that, she has higher, or lower, max stats, so you gotta be careful with that. Anyway, we're gonna visit this with her. Yes, helping Seiri, are you? Uh, no. No, I am. I am Seiri. Good, good. We need such bravery in these times. Here, now. Sell this at market and use the funds to arm your forces. It's a Boolean. Boolean L. I'd rather see you put it to use than that tyrant steal it. It's Boolean L, yeah, that's 10,000. Hooray, money! You're gonna run right to this spot, and then Olivia's gonna dance you. Dance them up good. And then you're gonna charge. Oh, I really wish you could get him over the wall, but you can't, sadly. You equip that killer lance, and we'll just see what happens. I swear if Morgan dies somehow. Okay, we gotta prepare to take on this boss. We're not gonna take it out just yet, but we just gotta get ready for it. We have that Rally Resistance, actually, from Maribel, which is gonna be really good. Okay, we'll just end that turn. Up! Uh, up! Uh, oh, she was gonna die. She was gonna die. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're okay. We're okay. 
Good job. Please. Oh, okay. <sighs> Luckily, I know that Dark Knight can't reach it either because he's horseback. And horseback overrides the fact that he's uh, the mage class. Oh, that was actually really scary. Oh, okay. So, for future reference, kids, don't do that. <laughs> you two do that. Hooray. And you can run all the way over here and then separate again. And who's going to go? I want you to go in. I want you to do it. I believe in you. I believe in the heart of the cards. Uh, okay. How you... How much damage can you do? You can do a lot. The problem is you just have a good chance of dying. <laughs> uh, you go for this guy. Ugh. There. Does he have like a sword or anything? No, he just has the Arc Thunder. So, from this range, we're only going to take 11 damage. I'm just going to drink a concoction then. And Kiel's going to move up behind, but like not actually be a part of the fight. Everyone else is going to come flying in. You are going to rally resistance on everybody. So that way you can go in with your Erica's blade and start hurting. Hooray. I'm just going to do it. Long live the Emperor. Death to all who oppose him. What's his name? Farber? Farber. Oh. Oh! I'll make this quick. I may, I may fall, but we are legion. You cannot stop the conqueror. Keep hearing about this conqueror guy. Apparently, he's really strong. Is that level five? No, it's level four. But he's getting there. I want Long Q to get to level five. It's really good. That takes out that. We get a master seal for that. Although we're not going to use it most likely. Uh, Sayri's going to hit up the convoy at some point. And I think that's everything. Oh, he's going for me. That's fine. That's fine. The only person I really wanted to do anything was you, so... Before you go in and doing that, is there anything any of us can do? You're gonna run all the way over here, and you're gonna just, like, heal him, I guess. Ooh, healing! Yay. Healing. Got that healing. And you're gonna dance in. Getting that experience. A. You're gonna come over here, and good old Lissa's gonna fix you right up with the men's staff. Woohoo. Woohoo. And then Morgan's gonna go in with the killer axe, hopefully get a crit, especially since she's standing next to me, her dad. Oh! Ignis! Get the crit, get the crit. Oh! oh. So good. That was so sick. Dude, that was so awesome. Okay, we get the Arc Thunder for that. But that finishes that. It took us eight turns, and the heroes were selling Vake. Not surprised. They did help a good chunk at the beginning. But, I mean, I felt like the team is starting to all work together, and that's good. My gratitude. Mercy, friends. The tales of your strength were no exaggeration. I am called Seiri. I fight with the resistance. What? So there was an organized resistance. Right. I, of sorts, several groups formed to seek liberty for the states of Vaughn. Really? I thought the Emperor had stamped out all dissenters. I. He tries, but we resistance are a slippery lot. We strike hard and then vanish again to the dark of night. Even now, rebels ride to the banner of dynasts across the continent. United, we could pose a veritable threat to Wallart. And so, for some time, I have struggled to bring us together. <sighs> What's stopping you? Greed, jealousy, sloth, all the old weaknesses of man. The dynasts all would have freedom, but on their own terms. Some refuse to take up arms against their ter unless their territory is threatened. Others thrive under the conqueror's heel and will not join unless there is profit in it. Liberty is a fine word, aye, but not always enough to rouse men from foolishness. Oh my. I take it you're looking for a more convincing argument, then? Right. Just so. Although my efforts thus far have met with meager success, I fear many distrust. I fear many distrust me because my brother fights for Wallard. Hold on. Why does he support the Emperor? <sighs> would I know, good sir? Would I? Would that I knew, good sir? Yenfei was a good man once, but he is my brother no more. 
If we meet on the battlefield, I would cut him down, same as any other Imperial. Wallard is said to command a million men now, perhaps more. Sooner or later, he will stamp out the resistance entirely if we do not unite. What? Um, Crom, did she just say he has a million soldiers? I. Ha. What are one million men against the Elysian dogs of war? You stopped a thousand of their ships, did you not? Your, your daring strategy has awoken and inspired people across all of Vom. Together, I know we can un yet unite the resistance and break Wallard's grip. Help me, Prince Crom. I beg of you. My lord. <clears throat> this is no easy thing for you to ask of me. I have my own causes, a halidim to save, and a future to win. Father. <sighs> I know a great battle has been on has been foretold, but is this it? How do you know? Still, I admire your courage. Perhaps your mission is the best way to achieve mine. So yes, Seiri, I will join your cause with my own. And if I'm wrong, it's my life on the line, as it should be. Now, what will it take to unite your people? My gratitude. Well, I do have one idea. 